Hello my lovely family, I hope you are all doing great. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to fix this error. Page not found. Your IT administrator has limited access to some areas of this app. This solution works for both Windows 10 or 11. So let's begin. To resolve that, right click on start. Then run. Then type gpedit.msc and press enter. In case you run this command and you get this error, it means that you are using Windows 11 or 10 Home Edition. To fix this error, I made another video you can see on your screen. I will leave the link in the description below. Now after that command, this window will show up. Now click on Computer Configurations, then Administrative Templates, then Windows Components. Now scroll down. Then again Windows Security, then Virus and Threat Protection, from there Hide Virus and Threat Protection. On this window, if the option is enabled or disabled, then change it to Not Configured. Then click Apply and OK. After close the window, now come to Windows Search and type CMD and run ads as administrator and click yes now type gp update space slash force and press enter this command will update the group policy after close the window and restart your pc if still your issue is not resolved then please follow the next guide Update your windows. To do that, right click on start, then settings, and windows update. Here you see check for updates or download and install. Just click on it. Make sure you have an internet connection and wait for all the files to finish downloading. After that, restart your PC and check again. And if that doesn't work, Again, go to search and type Windows Security. Then right click on it and go to App Settings. After, scroll down and you see these options. Click on Terminate. Then after, click Repair. After that, click on Reset. After that, you can close the window. From there, you can also check if you are not using any third-party antivirus program like Avast, Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, McAfee and others. So you have to click on the system tray icon and disable them if they are running. You can also uninstall them temporary to check if that is a problem. But if that is not a problem, then let's move on to the final step. Go to search and type CMD and run as an administrator. Then copy this command. I will leave it in the description below. After copying, come back to the command prompt and right click to paste it here. What this command does is to automatically delete some registry files that may cause this problem so you don't have to worry about anything. I will make a similar video to manually delete those files to enhance your understanding. After that, close the window and restart your PC. After rebooting, let's go to search and type Windows Security. Now you can see virus and threat protection available on this window. You can click on it and make any configuration adjustment of your choice. I hope this video was helpful and was able to solve your problem. If not, please kindly leave a comment in the description below or personally contact me on the given numbers on the screen and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.
In the meantime, stay blessed, have a nice evening and I'll see you in the next one.